It began with the end of winter. When I got my first prime lens, it has been an easy decision most of the time. Shoot wide open and it will look cinema- oh, the forbidden word. Shooting with a shallow depth of field often is associated with a professional Hollywood-like look. Some say it's just pleasing to the eye and some just always shoot at f1.2 and don't even think about it. But to me, shooting with shallow depth of field is about something else entirely. It's all about control. To control what's in focus. Shallow depth of field is not only about control. You only see what the camera wants you to see. It's misdirection. It's emphasizing what's important in a scene or the overall story. But it's not a cure for everything. I noticed in my own work that something got lost in all the blurriness. I was wondering, what would the opposite approach look like? Something uncinematic? Some cinematographers prefer to shoot at f2.8 or stop down to f4 or 5.6. This is the spot where a lens usually performs the best in terms of sharpness. But I wanted to go further. Something that has been a common technique for decades but isn't talked about much because of its sometimes impractical nature. Stopping down all the way. With stopping down all the way, you're giving the audience more freedom. But at what cost? If you have no depth of field in the frame, you can practically see everything. Most of the time, it's not practical to film this way. As you're closing your aperture, it requires a lot of external lights, shooting in bright days, or cranking up your ISO to the max. But let me tell you why I still think you should try it. With the rapid development of digital cameras and sensors over the last years, pushing your ISO isn't as problematic as it used to be. Plus, in a way, it's a test to see where you're at in your cinematography journey. You can't hide behind shallow depth of field anymore. Creating something cinematic now isn't just a low f-stop number. It's your set design, lighting, your blocking, your composition, more than ever. And while it's not practical to film everything stop down, I think it's beneficial to know what options you have, even if you decide to go back to using shallow depth of field. And if you go full circle, like me, maybe you realize that it's not about the blurriness, a cinematic look, not about sharpness or specific f-stop numbers. Maybe it's about something you just haven't focused on yet. <laughs>